Hi everybody, I'm Lisa Sweezy. I'm Tom Ladshaw. And I'm Annie Roberts. Welcome to Behind the Scenes at Benthaven Museum. In this video series, we're going to show you some things that you can't see on a regular tour. Like what? Like how dummies operate, uh, surprises from the storage room, and some treasures from the archives. Let's get started. So where are we today, Annie? So we are in Building 3 with Baby Snooks, who sits in the Mac section in Building 3, the Josephine Berger Building. And this figure is an unusual figure in the collection, and that's saying something in this collection. To say the very least. Yeah, so let's take a look at some of his unique features and things that you would not see on a regular tour. Baby Snooks does have some unusual features. Uh, he or she, because we don't know which, we've never looked, is not uh, designed to sit on the ventriloquist's knee. Uh, Baby Snooks is designed to sit on the floor, and he, it, it's cool because the ventriloquist operates Baby Snooks with the foot. It's completely operated by the foot. So you want to see some of the things it does? Yeah. Okay. Uh, of feet. How about this? <laughs> Baby Snooks can lift up his foot and put it in the mouth and mm -hmm. do a, a toe-sucking bit. It's a little perverted for vaudeville, but <laughs> lots of things went then. Mm -hmm. uh, the other arm will raise. Mm -hmm. The leg down here, let's say i got to find the control. But sometimes babies. And shake back and forth because maybe he's a little, you know, got to go to the restroom. Mm -hmm. Babies do that. This was, uh, oh, the other thing, the, uh, the ventriloquist, again, by turning his foot, can turn the head from side to side. And this mouth movement was very common in vaudeville. Instead of the jaw dropping down, uh, the entire top of the head pops up. Let's see if I can make it work. There we go. There we so go. one thing that I think is really interesting that we discovered, mm -hmm. that you discovered this morning, is that the mouth, the bottom of the mouth, is a drain. And so the ventriloquist would have a milk bottle and go to feed the baby milk, and then the water would actually pour down through the mouth, the drain, into a tank in the back. So you could drink, it would look like he was drinking the entire bottle in just a matter of two or three seconds, just glop, and it's gone, <laughs> which is very cool. And then, of course, yeah. the leg's really shaping, shaking because the puppet's got to go, and so we believe that's what this was for. Uh, this would be filled with water and sticks out through a hole in the bottom of the base. The ventriloquist would pick up this dummy to walk it off stage, and while he's doing it, uh, water is flowing freely from underneath the dummy, and you take from that what you will. So something else is is that when we go to his file and look at what we know about him, there's some information that I think we can prove that is accurate, but some of it is just things that people put in a letter, and like you know on the internet, just because someone says it doesn't necessarily make it true. So tell us the things that we know about this figure and what we don't know. Well, one thing we know is traditionally, or at least for many years, Baby Snooks has sat with the Mac figures uh, in the museum, and of course there is a baby figure that looks very similar to this in the Mac Red catalog. Mm -hmm. I don't believe this figure is a Mac figure for the simple reason that I'm not even sure this is carved wood. I think this <laughs> is either paper mache or some kind of wood dough. The ears don't look like Mac. The, 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 the way it's shaped doesn't look like Mac. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just not convinced it's a Mac figure. So. Yeah. W.S. worked for five years to acquire this figure, and we think he's the one who gave it the name Baby Snooks. Do you remember how much he paid for it? No. He only paid 12 books. He didn't actually buy it. He <laughs> traded 12 magic books to George McAfee in California to acquire Baby Snooks in 1950. Yeah. So that is behind the scenes at Ben Haven. So check them out on your next tour. Thank you so much for watching. If there's something you'd like to see behind the scenes, email Lisa at curator at